It was the day that the rain, which had stretched over several days, stopped. <laughs> Whoa! The improved airframe was finally complete. It actually looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It even has a <laughs> even has a duck in the front. That is amazing. Yes. Standing before this object, they put the blood. We put the blood, sweat, and tears into. Everyone was filled with emotion. Standing a bit away from me, Kotari's eyes were shining with just a bit of happiness. Seeing that, Agia winked and smiled at me secretly. I nod back at her. There's still a bit of distance from Kotari. However, the awkwardness from before is gone. It seems we were both waiting for a good time to make up. Alright. Oh wow, Yori is even joining in. We take apart the assembled airframe and load it onto the trailer. Today we'll go to the runway and do a test. Oh hell yeah! A test with our new model glider. Oh dude, this is gonna be great! Oh my god, I'm excited. <laughs> Today was Asa's first time to do assembly work on the glider's body. It's not difficult work, but mistakes can lead to large accidents. When people involved with gliders do assembly work by themselves like this, they begin to understand the composition and functions of the airframe. And Anchan comes out of nowhere. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for helping with the wheelchair thing as well. Anchan says this while gazing at the improved glider being assembled. I had gotten him to help with the transport of the glider. I would imagine Anchan feels connected to this glider too. It's thanks to your help, Anchan. He, pro uh, he provided us with cheap materials, search for difficult to find parts, and sometimes help with build building. What is going on with me today? I've been. Never mind, I've been recording for two hours. That's why I keep stuttering. Yeah. It's my first time in a while to fly here. Until today, I'd been using my weekends and going doing training at runways a dist a distance away. <clears throat> I'm different than I was a year ago. She says she's busy because she's an adult. Even if she is here today, she'll have plenty even if she isn't here today, she'll have plenty of chances to see the test flight. Alright. It's water real bad now. <sighs> I wonder if we're able to do modifications for uh, wheelchair personnel. I wonder, maybe. I get into the cockpit and check the pilot system. The wings and the tail assembly uh, have been remade, so it feels different from before. We carefully undertake various types of checks. Of course, us and the other newbies were nervous, but so were Agia, Kotri, and I. It is our first test flight in a long time. じゃあ、役割分担の確認だけど。まずパイロットは多いね。で、ウィンチ操作が私で。え私じゃないのうんうん。私がするの。で、朝ちゃんが翼を持って走ってね。はい、頑張ります。夜ちゃんは周囲の
そんなことないよーって言ってほしいわけ甘えんなよ朝だって乗りたいでしょそれは乗ってみたいですけどでも普通は先輩が優先なんじゃないでしょうか夜は私は手伝ってるだけの部外者ですから飛ぶのは一回こっきりじゃないんだよそうですよ私小鳥先輩に最初に乗ってほしいですあなたが部長なんでしょなら別にいいじゃない Put their glance upward at me nervously. As there have been some awkwardness in the past several days, I can expect her to suddenly show happiness. Okay. Asa chan, Yoru chan, Kotori o Kobu Zasaki ni noseru no tetsudate. Hi. Eh. Kotori was lifted by the others and put into the rear seat of the glider. Seat belt o yuru kuna i. I got. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit excited here. <laughs> a little bit excited. Feel like I probably should take a break, but you know what? We're going with it. We're just going to go all the way through it and see what happens. Let him touch the control stick. I spoke to Kotri as I got into the front seat. Aoi, this is a high-level passenger flight. So don't do any stupid maneuvers. Of course I won't. Close the canopy. Hi yo, Kotori, get the hell out. The canopy was closed. Outside sound was blocked out by the clear dome. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save again. Quick save. Completed. I felt a sense of nervousness coming from the rear seat. Outside, Agia was running towards the winch. Yoru's inspecting the surrounding condition from a distance away, and Asa is checking the tow line. <clears throat> Finally, it's time for the improved glider's first flight. The wings were all made together will fly through the air. And the promise I made with Kotori a year ago will be fulfilled. The air currents is calm today. Won't be able to fly very high. This is the perfect for our first flight. But if you get scared, tell me. I'll land right away. I heard Akiha's Aga, voice through the radio. Are you right, Kotri? We're okay. I answered Akiha and gave the signal to Asa. Asa walked around to the side of the body and lifted the wing, which had been leaned on the ground. Great English. The runway has been checked. Lift us up. Whoosh, the tow liner was pulled, and the glider began to move. It accelerated suddenly. Asa was running with all her might, but soon let go of the wing. I pulled the control stick. The glider, which had been running over the weed-covered, bumpy ground, gently lifted up. But the glider floated near the ground, it was pulled by the winch and picked up more speed. I'm going higher. I pulled the control stick back and aimed the nose upward. The airframe suddenly began to gain altitude. Whoa! But I filled the G's with my whole body. I gripped the control stick so the glider wouldn't lose control. We got further from the ground and the sky spread out before us outside the canopy. I'm going to disconnect. As we got directly above the winch, I pulled the release lever. The hook was disconnected and the tow line was released from the outside, underside of the airframe. And we're off! We were released from the force that had been pulling us back and the glider was thrown into the sky. I quickly turned and checked the tow line's disconnection. I've confirmed the release. Kotori, who had always been in charge of the winch, was looking at a small parachute from below. Takeoff successful. As announced this, Kotori looked at the outside view from the rear seat. Oh god, I need water. 
Oh god. My throat's gonna be butchered by tomorrow. <laughs> Are you scared? I'm facing forward, so I can't see, but I'm sure that Kotori's round eyes are sparkling. That's how her voice was. Her voice was? Okay, whatever. <coughs> to check the feel of the new wings, first I slowly flew over the runway. It responds to the rudder more quickly than the old wings, but the feeling of gliding is smooth. As this is a test flight, I have to remember the sensation and report it to Ageha later. Right now, it has a good feel. It's more sensitive than the old glider, but the gliding itself is smooth. Hmm? What does she have to do with... Uh, do her best at? I have a grasp of the feel, so I'll stretch out my legs a bit. Shall we go back to the pallet, to the place? Woodmill Hill. Kotri answered like she felt it was a good idea. I tilted the control stick to the side, stepped on a rudder pedal, and flew the glider towards the lake. ちゃん。自分が作った翼が飛んでるのを見る気分は何だか不思議です。どうしてあんなものが飛べるんでしょう。不思議だよね。ちゃんと空中でバランスを保ちながら隠してるんだもんね。どこか行くみたい。湖の
Yeah. There's still a lot of awkwardness between them. Jesus. I felt a little embarrassed to be told that. At the time, I hadn't dreamed that Amani would prepare something like that for us, so in my surprise, I got too excited. I'd gotten too happy, so Kotri, who should have been happy, felt confused. I just found it on Ninner by chance, and I thought, if he had this, Kotri could fly by herself. I didn't do anything warrant being thanked. Being thanked, even though I didn't do anything special, actually made me feel weird. But I'm glad that Amana drew the blueprint. When we finish building the cockpit, you can fly too. You have to train really hard, you know. I, I jokingly spoke. I, I joking spoke in a threatening manner. I jokingly spoke in a threatening manner, but Kutri nodded silently from the rear seat. Kotri hesitates, as though it's hard to say. I heard the sound of her inhaling, as though she were taking a deep breath. Oh, that's okay. I don't want to hear from you, Aoi. Her voice made it sound like she was about to cry. I couldn't bear it, so I began to speak. No, I'm sorry I intruded on your personal matters. Kotori reflexively cut me off. Kotori. Is she finally opening up? Thank God. Okay, I remember. I could sense Kotri's relief. It was as though the tension that had come continued since the canopy had closed finally dissipated. Alright, can I say something a little bit intrusive? I like you. Thank God! Finally! Oh my God, finally! Oh, Jesus Christ, finally! I like you. And not as a friend, but as a girl. Yes! Maybe it's a nuisance for you, but I want you to know. I hope there's another CG out there with her blushing, because that'd be perfect. <laughs> perfect thumbnail. Yes! 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 <laughs> perfect. Even better. Even better. A full wide view. Done. Thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Finally! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, I, I was hoping something like this would happen a little bit sooner, but I'm glad it happened right now, with them in the, in the glider together. There was an awkward silence. Just as I became nervous that I surprised her. Oh, You okay? I realized that Kotri was crying. Kotri? No. I'm pretty sure we're awake. <gasps> yes! Yes! Finally! Oh my god, thank freaking Christ! <laughs> Maybe another thumbnail, I don't know. Oh my god! Finally! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Finally! Oh my god. Even better! I got options now. A thumbnail. Oh my god, but finally! Thank Christ, oh my god. Seriously. I feel like there's been tension between them the entire time and finally... Finally being honest, thank god. Oh. Alright. While crying, Kutri spoke with all her might. 
her voice carried through the inside of the canopy. I felt it not just with my ears, but with my entire body. I'm so glad to hear that. What I felt was more relief than happiness. So we both feel this way. Which means we're dating, right? Oh, I see. <laughs> My happiness had been delayed and finally boiled over. <laughs> oh, now, oh, now, oh, now he is finally realizing it. Kotori is surprised at my sudden laughter. But I couldn't stop. I was so happy. Kotori, I like you. I love you! <laughs> oh my god, wow. <laughs> Finally. Oh, Jesus Christ. He actually said it. Thank god. I surrendered myself to the overflowing emotions and tilted the control stick. The glider spins around while flying. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we probably... Oh, we should probably not do that. You guys just confess feelings? Let's not get killed, okay? <laughs> I'm so glad. Kotori says she liked me. <laughs> you should probably not scare her in the glider, just saying, dude. Taking in G's inside the cockpit, Kotori answers frantically. I like you too, Kotori. The glider spins and does a somersault. Like my happiness had been transferred to the glider. Agio's scolded voice came through the radio transceiver. I'm sorry, I got a little excited. I panicked and leveled the plane out. Kotori, are you alright? <laughs> and Akia knew, she knows exactly, she knew exactly what happened. Did she hear us? No, she probably just realized what exactly happened. <laughs> huh? Congratulations? Yeah, how do they know? Wait, they heard everything? What? <laughs> wow. Alright then. What? <laughs> God damn it, Aga. <laughs> God damn it, Aga. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, of course, there's a malfunction with the radio in the passenger seat. Sorry, we'll take care of it later. You liar. <laughs> Must have realized right away. <laughs> you know, she's kind of right. You know, this is kind of romantic, but at the same time... I... <laughs> the intimacy factor is gone because it was shared with... The rest of the members. <laughs> Those guys. <clears throat> um, maybe. I had intended to tell Kotori my feelings on today's test flight. It was a chance for us to have some time alone, just the two of us. There was no worry of being overheard by anyone, or so I had thought. Transmission cut off. Kotori? Kotori was looking down, her face beat red. After that we stayed in the sky as long as we could, and took as much time as possible to land on the runway. We succeeded in landing without any problems, and when we released the lock, the canopy was open from the outside. Akia and the other greeted us, 
with smiles on their faces that were so wide it made me feel ill. Kotori, who came down from the cockpit and sat in a wheelchair, was blushing deeply and had an unhappy expression on her face. You're going to make fun of me, aren't you? Asa's eyes sparkled like those of a heroine from a comic book, and a smile crept onto Yoru's mouth. When I blushed, my cheeks were slapped from behind. God damn it. Even you, Anchan? Oh. Being told that about Anchan made me feel bashful but happy. <laughs> Yeah, I told you over the radio, but it's a little pitchy. It's easy to pot once you get used to it. The feeling of gliding was smooth, too. The sync rate was low, and compared to the other model, it seemed like it would be able to stay in the air for longer. It doesn't need anything right now. Okay. We have to check whether there was damage to the parts during the first flight a moment ago. We'll start. F uh, we'll still fly it several times today. I met Ice Makotori for just an instant, and then headed towards the cockpit. <sighs> Wait, what? Then just about the time when summer was about to start? <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> What she says, if I'm correct, is what? Not when the summer is about to start, but whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm ready over here. Hi, Sugaiku. Right there. Beautiful grammar. Beautiful grammar. <laughs> this game, the grammar in this game is making me stupid a little bit. <laughs> From a distance away, Kotori watched blankly as we did our preparations for the next test flight. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. I'm not sure if this sentence is grammatically correct, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Because I think this is a pretty good time for us to take a break right here. The Proof Gliders test flight had been a success, and we'll find out what happens next in the next episode. I don't know how far I got to go. Maybe, probably, a decent chunk. As far as I understand, each route has a decent story for it. Although I know for several routes, the stories repeat, like certain scenes repeat. They just alter differently. Um, I don't know, who, I kind of thought about it for a little bit, and I'm not sure how I'm going to cover the other routes, but I would like to still. I still want to cover the routes, but I don't know how much of each route I should be covering or recording, really? Because most of it is just going to be me skipping ahead until a new scene comes up that is for that specific route, for a specific girl. But nevertheless, I think what I'm going to do is actually end it right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I highly enjoyed it. Can't wait to play more. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to have fun editing the hell out of this and editing out of the sniffles that I have because being sick and being ill and not feeling well prompts me to want to edit out the coughs and sniffles because they don't belong in the video at all. I want to make sure they it's clean of that kind of stuff, you know? Only leave the funny and good parts in. Or at least relevant parts in. Me being sick is un irrelevant whatsoever. Nevertheless, I really hope you enjoyed. I've highly enjoyed. Oh my god, finally! Finally they confessed. Finally, thank god. And now they're dating. Yay! <laughs> I can't help but be a little bit cheer cheerful for that. You know, just cheer them on. You guys can do it! Yes! And I finally did it, thank god. Nevertheless, hope you enjoyed. My name is Thamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of If My Heart Had Wings. See ya! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to Blah, blah, blah. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts are the treasure of reality. I kind of want to say you could dress better. <laughs> <laughs>